let's talk coughs. So we come up to that time of year where everyone's got a cough. There are basically two types of coughs. There's a wet cough and then there's a dry cough. So a wet cough has a lot of mucus, muck, gunk when you're coughing it up and out. Um, and a dry one is just that dry bark. Now there are two different ways of treating that. They're not treated the same. So obviously with a wet cough, we are looking at expectorants, which help you bring up the mucus, the muck, the gunk that's in your lungs. And then there are mucolytics. The mucolytics make things less thick thin them out so when you do cough it's easier for your body to move it up and out. Now the other side of the coin is we've got a dry cough. Now when we've got a dry cough we use a suppressant. Now suppressants tell the body to stop coughing, uh, there's no need to so everything hopefully settles down. Now most of the suppressants are all codeine based um, or in the family so you've got to be aware if you are allergic to that or there are some medications that will interact with suppressants. The expectorants and mucolytics are pretty good all around with other medications. Now sometimes there might be an underlying cause for your cough, uh, such as asthma, a reflux can actually cause some people to have a cough, a post nasal drip, that runny nose, uh, bronchitis is another one, whooping cough, which has been around a little bit lately, that's just that dry persistent sort of cough that just doesn't go away, you definitely need to see a doctor about that one, they can do a swab and check that all out. So there are some drugs that actually cause a cough, so you talk to your pharmacist about what medications you're on and see if that could be potentially causing your cough.